Hello, welcome to Frank's School. I've necessarily had to make a pause of over a week uh, since the last video I made. This body of mine is, is wearing out. Uh, I, I had a uh, trip to the emergency room and in the meantime I have a problem called SVT with my heart supraventricular tachycardia. My heart rate got up to 255 that was uh, in the emergency room about five times and then it went down and etc. Other things too. Now this can be fixed and I'm scheduled to have it fixed. I say etc. in my efforts to get back to work because my son had to take over. I've injured my shoulder and I had to make my 5-0 right handed. I can't lift this that high. That This will pass soon. Um, same thing with the eye. Okay, anyway, uh, I, I really want to get the, these prequels finished, and I'm so close. Uh, I'm in, uh, this is the third prequel to the trip I'm going to describe as the best I know of itinerary for Europe. But this is a prequel, this is the third one, uh, and I've really reached, you could say, the high water mark uh, when I got to Innsbruck. Uh, and Innsbruck, I thought I could just do this in maybe just one video, but I think I'm going to take three, uh, and maybe a little bit shorter, uh, because I'm always looking for things that were formative in, in my thinking, and why I do things the way I do, why I build the way I do, even why I think the way I do. Well, in Innsbruck, uh, I, I often said that that's my favorite city in Europe. I've been there maybe five times, four times, uh, maybe. Uh, I don't like cities at all, uh, but uh, Lisbon, is a close competitor, and Innsbruck. And in this uh, Portugal and the Alps, uh, you, know, you, you know, you go from the one to the other. Uh, in Innsbruck, everywhere you look up, you're completely surrounded by the Alps. It's the most alpine city in Europe, probably in the world. Uh, but anyway, uh, so it's a lovely place to be, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a moment. But in Innsbruck, uh, Joyce and I went to a museum called the Tyrolean Folk Art Museum. Uh, the, the name in German is not, is, 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 is uh, I, I'm a, in a way I'm a little bit surprised we knew to go there. It doesn't advertise itself that much, but it was uh, uh, changing, it was formative. Uh, I've been back, I think, twice uh, to the museum. Anytime I've been to Innsbruck, I've tried to get there. I even managed to squeeze it in, I think, when I was there with a group of, of students. And we only had like an hour, an hour and a half in Innsbruck. And I went right to the museum because I wanted to see certain things again. Well, sadly, the thing that I most loved in that museum, I think, is now gone. I uh, wrote a letter uh, to uh, the museum just about a week ago hope, asking about that. What happened to that collection of models of uh, Tyrolean farmhouses that I had seen? What happened to that collection? I, I even came to the point that I thought, am I imagining it? Uh, did I really not see that? Because they have a very famous collection of uh, creches, they're called, you know, uh, the Christmas scenes with the manger and all that. Spectacular, the work of a small village for an entire year to make this beautiful creche. And they have them, and they still have them. But what about those models of farmhouses? I don't know. Uh, you can see some model of farm, models of farmhouses at this video, which I'll say a little bit more about that. But that's Swiss, and, they, and they're not as gorgeous as the ones I remember. Uh, that was one thing. Uh, uh, let, let me just go on with maybe maybe what's there now. You can still, in part of that museum, go into it, and you're, it's like you've, they've transported the interior of a Tyrolean farmhouse to the, to the museum. So you're, you're in it uh, with the paneling and the ceiling, and you walk from one to the other to the other. And that's really wonderful, and that's worth going there for. Uh, you'll also see Kakelofen, that's plural, for tile ovens, masonry or tile ovens. Uh, there's at least one of them there, maybe more. That's probably where I saw my first uh, cockle often. Uh, and uh, it, it's affected the way I build right over here, actually, around my furnace. I've got cinder blocks stacked up 
to have the effect of a, a, a Kakalofen. Uh, Bauer, uh, Bauernhäuser, or, or ba, ba, Bauern, I'm confused now if that E needs to be there. I think it's Bauernhäuser, uh, farmhouses. Uh, now, related to that, my sister, one of my sisters, gave me uh, many years ago this book called Wooden, Wooden Houses. She knew that I love such stuff, and she saw such a book on sale. It was probably on sale because it was in such uh, bad shape. Uh, that I, I've studied it so intensely that the binding is completely falling apart. Oh, this isn't good for my shoulder. But house after house across Europe, they call it wooden houses, but this is the kind of thing I was talking about when, when I said about that train ride to... Um, you know, this is, the binding is so bad, I could probably just pick the pages up to show you. Um, the, the train ride from uh, uh, Zurich to uh, to Tyrol. <clears throat> um, I'm not sure if there's another one right here, right by that. No, not really. But that's that's what would be a down valley. That, that's the, the end of uh, such a house where the people live, and the back is a farm. Uh, yeah, I would have to make this an entirely different... Oh, here. Here, here you can get an idea uh, of the kind of thing I was seeing. Very, very large uh, houses under a single roof with the barn at the back, with the barn at the back, living space at the front. In this one, I don't know if you can tell this or not, but there's a porch, I guess you'd call it, around there. Again, four people. And I, I, it, it affected my, my building from then on. When I got back from that trip, with, during the next year, I changed the house that I currently live in. I put an addition on it, and I did it under the influence of that. And the other, to the extent that uh, some people used to refer to my house as the Swiss house, because it's just so different from any other house anywhere around here. Uh, so anyway, farmhouses, uh, you know, if, if, you would, if you would look that up, you might have to use the German to get the really good images of it uh, on Google, and you would see lots of images of it. Um, now the reason I put this number here is because in the second year, 56 video, second second video, I really, of that day, no, second year, 56 days, second video, and I guess I must have even subdivided that. Uh, but anyway, if you would put that into my uh, uh, channel, there you would see uh, details that I filmed at the Ballenberg Open Air Museum in Switzerland. That actually, the truth is, it's better. It's even better than what... Um, I saw there but, uh, back in Innsbruck, but that's what was so formative. By this time I knew about these and I was of course enthralled to be able to see them and actually go in them. Uh, uh, th that is, is absolutely worth looking at. And my other videos about the uh, Ballenberg Open Museum as well, Open Air Museum as well. Uh, there, you, you know, I'm actually walking around. And, and in part of this, in the upstairs where in the old days, it would have been full of hay. Uh, it's not, there's not hay there now, but there's a set of models of houses there, Swiss, uh, Swiss, uh, Swiss uh, farmhouses. But uh, they're just not the same. They're neat, but they're not the same. They, they're not life-changing like, like that collection that I seem to remember was. All right, the one other thing was uh, in, in this... Uh, now, remember, Joyce and I were working in crafts. Uh, we were part of a crafts program, artesanato, our, our, our artisan, artisanship. I don't, I don't know what the noun is for that, the work of artisans. And, and so it, that's one of the reasons we were drawn there, just as had happened back in Lisbon at the uh, Decorative Arts Museum uh, studios. But anyway, uh, in the displays, I was seeing these little woodcuts showing various craftsmen. And once again, I, I, I was enthralled, and, and uh, to the extent I could, I tried, I think, even to speak German, and, uh, but somewhere or another, between the guy that was there, or the docent or whatever, knew enough English, 
I was able to find out that it was possible to actually own those woodcuts. And uh, I went down the street to a bookstore and there was Das Ständebuch, which I bought. I think it was paperback. Now, since then, I lost it. But, uh, and I, I tried to urge Dover Publications to publish it. Uh, I wrote to them about that. It, it, I don't know if they paid attention to me or not, but eventually they did publish it as the Book of Trades. And these uh, woodcuts, uh, there is the... <laughs> Bell maker. Uh, you know, I, I, I would have to do this as a completely separate uh, video and, and move elsewhere. But uh, trade after trade, uh, uh, the, the, the one on your left as you look at that is the blacksmith. It shows these various workmen and it shows them uh, in their shops. And there's, a, there's over a hundred of them, I think. Uh, uh, complete with a little uh, German uh, uh, poem about what they did, uh, which has been translated underneath. I, I had actually offered to Dover to, to translate those, uh, those little poems, which I don't know if I really could have or not, but I would have tried. But anyway, I'm glad they, they did it. Uh, so that set off an interest of mine in representations of the way life was back before the, uh, the what craftsmen did before the uh, Industrial Revolution. And those two things uh, were formative in my, in what I did thereafter in terms of, well, in, in all kinds of ways. The two things, seeing the farmhouses both on the way to uh, Innsbruck and in the museum and then uh, getting that book and getting a look into what life was like for the tradesmen of the time. All right, well, uh, I think I'll be back at this, uh, maybe if not tomorrow. Uh, I've got one more thing to tell you about Innsbruck, and then, uh, and then uh, we really are very close to the end of this third prequel. Bye for now.